Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I have the brand new Huda Beauty Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I saw this on Instagram, I saw it on Twitter, and I was so excited because even though it is a nude eyeshadow palette, the colors aren't necessarily nude. So when you look inside of it, there are these neutral colors over here on this side, but then there's some burgundies, some mauves, and yeah, you can keep it neutral with these colors, but I wouldn't say it's a nude palette. Um, I'm excited because inside here there are 18 eyeshadows in 5 ready to layer textures, 10 buttery mattes, 4 multi-reflective shadows, 2 pressed glitters, 1 pressed pearl, and 1 concealer base. When I was looking at the colors in this eyeshadow palette, there's some pretty interesting colors like the colors Crave, Daydream, Charmed, and Fantasy. If you look at them, they have stuff inside of it. It kind of... They're white. You would think those are the pressed pearls, but that's not necessarily what I think they are. I think these are the four multi-reflective shadows. And then like these two right here are the two pressed glitters. So I'm not actually sure which one is the pressed pearl, unless it's kinky. Maybe. This is supposed to be concealed, which is the concealer. I did not use an eyeshadow primer on my eyes. I did everything else on my face. That way we can use concealed, set the eye, and go in with this eyeshadow palette. So I'm really excited to use this. Um, um, I'm not gonna swatch the colors. There's so many pictures and videos of swatches already that I think it's just overdone. So without further ado, let me zoom you in and we'll get started on the eyes. So for concealed, I'm going to go ahead and use my finger because I use my finger for my eyeshadow base already. So I'm not going to change what I usually do. So that right there is concealed. It's pretty creamy. Oh my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy, won't you bend that back for me? We won't stop, got you. And I actually usually put my eyeshadow primer all over my eye because I never know how high up I'm gonna take my eyeshadow. Sometimes I'll put something right underneath my eyebrows. Sometimes I won't. But I will usually set that with a lighter color if I don't put a shimmery shade underneath my eyebrows. Oh, it's pretty nice. It's pretty smooth. I'm going to go ahead and use Secret in my crease. Mm, there's a lot of fallout with that. I'm not sure how I like concealed. I don't know that I would use it again. Um, with this brush, even just swirling it in slowly. I think I'm gonna take concealed off of this eye and put eyeshadow primer and see how I like my eye look with that. All right, so now that I've taken concealed off of this eye, I'm gonna go ahead and use the P. Louise base. This one's in the color Rumor 05. There we go. So we got P. Louise on this side, we have Concealed on this side. We'll see how they perform. Oh my baby, 
Got me staring at you So I'm crazy Why'd you bend that back for me? We won't stop Got your feet both locked You get to fly with me I can take you down for a ride I take you around my life Jaywalking, crosswalking, flip blocking with you I really like that color um i do like it better with this base vice this just because i feel like this actually shows up more than concealed we're gonna go in with this color raw i'm just gonna put this in the outside corner and sweep it in towards the center I'm gonna go in with the color Love Bite. Oh my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy. Watch you bend that back for me. We won't stop. Got your feet both locked. You get to flap with me. I can take you down for a ride. I take you around my life. Jaywalking, crosswalking, flip blocking with you. bit of fallout gone no more fallout next I'm gonna go in with the color fantasy oh my god you guys that color is stunning it's like molten I think I'm going to leave room on the inside corner so that I can add in Daydream. So I'm crazy. I'm just patting in Fantasy. I'm not smearing it all over. I wanted to actually take all the color and just give it that smoldering lava I mean I don't know another way to explain this color it's just breathtaking oh my baby got me staring at you so I'm crazy watch you bend that back for me we won't stop I think I have my new favorite palette for this year now I'm gonna take daydream I'm gonna put this on the inside corner Look how stunning that color is. Oh my goodness. It is so reflective. Got your feet both fly. You get to flap with me. I can take you down for a ride. I take you around my life. Jaywalking, crosswalking, flip blocking with you. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. I just don't know if the camera gets how stunning that color is. And I was only going into that pan once with my pinky.
So these two are the Give Me Glitter Applicator Set. I bought them at Sephora. They were a $12 set, limited edition, exclusive. So the rounded shape is for a rolling application effect. The smaller, flatter shape provides for exceptional detail, whether cream pressed or loose. But I really like these. I'll show you how to use them using the Huda Beauty press glitter. Um, but I know that there was a brush that was just released with this nude palette um, that you can buy separately that one of the ends, which is double-ended, one's a sponge and one is a silicone spatula, kind of like this. So if you don't want to spend $15, you can get those two for 12 bucks. So we're going to go in with Infatuated. Oh my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy, won't you bend that back for me? We won't stop, got your feet both locked. You get to flop with me. I can take you down for a ride. Take you around my life Jaywalking, crosswalking, lip locking But you, I know it, you know it, we make it I'm just kind of tapping it into where I want it to go For not having glitter glue down This is, there's very minimal fallout I think I have one piece here, one right there but for it not having a glitter glue or adhesive and it just being a pressed glitter, I like it. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the color Tickle. I'm going to smudge this all the way over to where I have the color Daydream. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and mascara off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my eyeliner and mascara done and this is the final look. I love playing with makeup and seeing what new looks I can come up with just in my everyday life. For work, I've got to keep it neutral. I know I've said that numerous times. Um, so my, my weekends or after work is when I get to have fun with colors and just glitter and sparkly stuff so for me that this is my outlet and for me makeup is my artistic expression it's just there's so much that you can do with it I didn't even put lipstick on I guess I'm gonna put some lip gloss on let's see what I got well you guys this is the final look I did just go ahead and keep it simple with the lips I just put a glittery sparkly well, I guess it's not so simple if it's got glitter in it. But I just put a lip gloss on. I didn't want to do anything too bright because I didn't want to distract from the eye, which is my favorite part of this look right now. And it is so much fun. Uh, I'm excited to see what else I can do with this palette because even though it's a nude palette, there's so many good colors in there. But that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure to click on that bell icon to get notifications of new videos, which I put out Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you like this video. And until next time, you guys, bye.